Uh, no, thanks for having me. Uh, just another really uh, bad performance by us at, uh, at Ole Miss. And um, we had an opportunity again two straight weeks, I thought, early in the game. Uh, you know, and just shot ourselves in the foot and uh, went for it on fourth down, didn't get it, fumbled the ball in the end zone. You know, so we're moving the ball early in the game, but just couldn't uh, couldn't match them and got behind and just had a very, very hard time slowing them down. They have a really good offensive football team and um, just had a hard time. But um, moving ahead, really impressed with Coastal and what they're doing and what Coach Mowgli has done with his football team. Um, you know, very impressive win against UAB. Uh, impressive road win against uh, uh, Louisiana Lafayette, and uh, I'm just impressed with what they're doing. Uh, very creative, running the ball. Really uh, have a bunch of different ways they can attack you, and uh, it's going to be really tough to defend. Uh, we had heck with them last year trying to defend them, and um, they're back, and I think even doing a, a, a better job of executing what they do uh, defensively. You know, they're going to mix it up and. Uh, but play really, really sound football. But I think their kids play extremely hard. They look to be very, very well coached, and uh, sure, you know. And I know they play good at home. So uh, you know, really, really tough test for us again, again on the road. But uh, you know, hopefully we can regroup and uh, have a better performance this week. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from Dan McDonald with the Advocate. Please go ahead, Dan. Morning, Coach. Hey, Dan. How are you doing? Good. Can you talk a little bit about uh, Marcus Green? I mean, he's obviously continued to put up numbers for you, even in the the struggles the last uh, couple weeks. Uh, you know, he I guess he's been the your uh, he he and uh, R.J. Turner I guess become your sort of go to guys in the throwing game. Yeah, they, he had a good game, and uh, was really glad too that for the first time, really, and well, I say that he fielded one against Troy that probably he shouldn't have, but uh, just is really the first real opportunity we've got to return a punt this year and uh you know because we've been getting the the rugby punts and uh punting away from him and everything but we got an opportunity this week uh you know a a punt you know that he could field and we were able to execute and he was able to uh to to run it run it back for a touchdown so we were really excited about that i know he was excited because he was actually back home you know he's from the oxford area and stuff but uh he continues to play really good rj turner continues to play really good. We've just been really, really inconsistent, Dan, offensively this year. And, uh, you know, we were looking at some numbers last night. I mean, you know, we have as many first downs as anybody. We've been in the red zone more times than anybody this year, and yet we're not scoring points. It's frustrating, and uh, hopefully we can put it together one of these weeks. I was looking at those same numbers. I mean, your your offensive numbers are really good, but they just haven't translated to – scoring is it is it just uh mistakes in execution when you're when you have the opportunities i think it's a mixture of a lot of things and that's the thing you know i think it's so frustrating because you know as a coach you want to fix it but it's not just one thing in particular you know this week you know caleb fumble going into the end zone and you know which we had an opportunity and uh you know to to score early and you know to kind of kind of stay up with them and if you go back, I mean, it's it's execution mistakes. Maybe it's a call or two here. Maybe it's a great play by them, by the by the opponent. But whatever it is, I mean, it seems to uh, we've gotten a couple penalties that that were un, that were untimely for sure. And uh, you know, it's just uh, we moved the ball, but we haven't we haven't done what we needed to do in terms of getting points on the board. And uh, you know, hopefully we can change that. You still got all the rest of the Sun Belt in in your division in front of you. Uh, is, is that something that you you know? Are you talking to your kids like that? They're telling you, you know you still have everybody that you that you need to win against the division are still to come. I mentioned it briefly yesterday, but uh, you know when you're and yeah, I mean, and I may mention it at some other time, but the main focus right now is hey, you know, let's let's get back to playing as good as we can play. And uh felt like we played pretty good early in the year. The Southern Miss game, we played really good, played really good in the second half of the Troy game. But uh, that's the main objective for us right now, Dan, is we got to get back to playing as good as we can play. And, uh, you know, hopefully this week, because we'll, we'll need everything we got this week for sure. <laughs> 